easy way to show what you know, do some digital storytelling. It's great for uh, if you have one iPad in the classroom or if you have many. Super easy to use. So download the app and um, you can just get started. You can either search for stories that are made or click on create a new story. If I were to create a new story, I'm going to share with you one about angles. Um, maybe it's not a story, it's just something um, that I know about. Now what I love about Adobe Voice is it has um, scaffolded templates here that you can use. You can do a show and tell, show, share a growth moment, teach a lesson, uh, share an invitation, make up my own, promote an idea, tell what happened, explain something. Now let me go back to teach a lesson because that's what I'd like to do today. And I'm going to select this one. And you can see what I mean by this great scaffolding. Down below, it talks about the overview. What will you teach and why is it interesting or relevant? How will people use what they learn? Kind of helps kids to know what to say to create a complete video. So for this one, um, I think I will add um, some text. So I'm going to add text here. And as they write, as they type, um, the words um, get smaller and smaller so it will all fit. Um, and I'm going to then uh, follow along with what it said to do. So what will you teach? Why is it interesting or relevant? How will people use what they learn? This video is an example of the four different kinds of angles. So all I had to do was click um, the orange button to record what I wanted to say. Now I'm going to go on to the next one, the concept. Describe the concept you're teaching. Maybe I want to choose um, an icon. So I'm going to look for an icon that has angles in it. And I'm going to search. Aha, here we go. So I think I'll use this one. And then I, again, can describe the concept I'm teaching. I'm going to hold the button and go ahead and do that. An angle is where two lines meet at a vertex. And the measurement is the distance between the two lines. If I want to record more, I can hold it to re-record and, and start over. If I want to give an example, I can take a picture of the work I did at my desk, my writing. Uh, and So that's what I've done. It's on my iPad right now. I'm going to go to my camera roll, and I'm going to open this image. And when I do this, I'm going to go ahead and um, share that. So give an example. So in this example, I'm going to go ahead and explain my thinking. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. A right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees, and so on and so forth. You get the idea. So as you go through, you can keep doing this. It has an explanation. You try it and a summary, which is kind of nice. It helps the kids to do a complete video. You can change the layout very easily uh, with the different sizes. You can also change the theme so it looks really different. Um, I, maybe I want it to be uh, in a different, well, I want to have Argyle for this, um, for this one. Uh, you can also add music to it. And there's all these different um, kinds of music that you can have. Uh, maybe I'm going to bring on bringing change, and as you go through it, it will test the music out for you, and you can see if that's something that you think would be good. Not dramatic for a math video, I know. Maybe not. Okay, so we'll stop. Okay. There we go, and it's still going. <laughs> when you're all done, you can um, click the share button and then you can uh, upload it and be done and I can choose my cover so using this oh let's see I'm done I'm going to go to um, the home button and it will save my um, project now from here uh, I can either just play the project and see what it sounds like Uh, turn the volume off on this. Meet at a vertex. And the measurement is the distance between the two lines. An acute angle is an angle that is less than 90 degrees. A right angle is an angle that is exactly. So you get the point. There we go. We're losing. That's where the sound got all bad. 
Um, and then I can um, share from here. So if I, um, no, not from there. Come on. Um, I can publish this. Uh, oh, I duplicated it uh, and, and share it. So if I open it, then I can um, share it again from that share button. I can copy the link. I can um, email it uh, in order to get it off. And that's really important to know how to do. Uh, this is so great to be able to do with all kinds of storytelling. It doesn't have to be just uh, with this. I imagine using it with all kinds of work. Imagine your students did some sort of project or artwork and they wanted to show what they had done. It's so simple to just take a picture of that work and then add um, some music and uh, some nice features to it. And you have a great video that shows what they know.